This rear den alliance paradigm is brand new for 2024 and they knocked this thing out the park. It is very impressive. Let's go take a look. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. For y'all that are new here, my name is Miles with Firmly Unbound, and we are taking a look at this 2024 Alliance Paradigm 375RD today. I'm here at Blue Compass RV in Denton, Texas, and if you're interested in this RV and want exact pricing and location information, you can click the link down below in the description or in the comments of this video. That will show you the most up-to-date pricing and where this RV is available. Or if you're just ready to start shopping for your next RV, Blue Compass has over 100 different locations across the United States in 33 different states. So plenty of options out there for you to find your next RV. Now this here is a rear den floor plan, which we'll see, you'll be able to see the floor plan layout and the specs on the screen with what that arrangement looks like. And man, is it just, I mean, it is so impressive. First of all, you have this storage space up here and we're about to hop inside real quick, but really big storage compartment. This is a full profile fifth wheel. So it has the drop frame down underneath here, giving you that flat floor passing through your storage compartment. It has a flat roof all the way across up to the front cap. So a big fifth wheel RV. And let me show you the exact specs real quick on this fifth wheel here. So unloaded this is 14,268 pounds and then fully loaded it's 16,800 pounds that gives you a 2,472 pound cargo carrying capacity i would definitely recommend a one ton truck for a fifth wheel rv like this it is pretty dang big and the exact length on it as we step inside is going to be 42 feet 11 inches so nearly basically 43 feet long Definitely a big boy. Now, as we step inside, you can see you have two awnings outside. So two awnings covering, or one awning covering both these slide outs, and then your awning over here, basically get complete awning coverage. And then we'll talk about more stuff on the outside when we come back out after we go through the inside. You have the safety rail here in your entry steps. They are strut assisted. So they'll be weightless for you as you go in and out, which is very nice. As we step inside here, be ready to let me know what you think about this floor plan layout. And then if you haven't already, make sure to go check out my other YouTube channel, Firmly Unbound, which is where I show how I'm living a more firmly unbound lifestyle and hopefully encourage you to go live a firmly unbound lifestyle as well. Now, as we step in here, look at this, y'all. I have all of the shades down right now because I really want to emphasize how many windows are in this fifth wheel RV. So you're seeing this layout right now with all of the window shades down, except for that window in the back corner in this kitchen window. And then I'm going to take a second to stop recording, open up all these windows, and then continue. And take a look at that, how just bright and open this is. Your whole campsite here is all pretty much window coverage. So if you think about when you're out camping or living in this RV, maybe all the action going on outside is going to be on this side of your RV and you're going to get a great view of all of it. And then obviously the standout point to this floor plan layout is this rear den area where you have this L shaped sofa looking at, this has got to be a 65 inch screen TV. I forgot to look up the exact specs of this TV before I walked in here, but that definitely looks like it's about a 65 inch. Plus it is a smart TV as well. It's an Insignia brand. And then you have a sound bar here. Underneath your sound bar, you have your fireplace. So that will be an electric heat source for you. And you can see no floor vents in this fifth wheel RV. So your heat ducting coming out of the rear wall there. You have storage here and pretty interesting how this storage opens up. It actually slides like so. So it will slide like that to get into this storage. And then you have the same thing here as well. So those will both slide. And then same storage on the other side over here. You can see all the LED lighting up in the crown molding up through the side here, and then big windows all along this wall as well. Now you have this massive L-shaped sofa here, and I love this because just what a cool, comfortable spot to lounge around and hang out. If you want to take a nap in the sofa, you certainly can. I mean, leaning back into the space here, you can see I have a whole extra cushion there, and if I fully lay down, I'm six foot two with my shoes on and this, this sofa has got to be about seven feet long. So definitely a really impressive space. You have another sofa here as well. And then for the full timers out there, you even have some additional storage up here 
for all of your belongings. So that's great. Your lighting up here, it sits flush with the ceiling. So I like the way that looks. It gives it a more modern look as well. But the overall look and decor in here is definitely on the warmer side. So hopefully that translates well on the footage, but a much warmer feel in here than some of the other like gray looking fifth wheels. So it has a much warmer tone if that's something that you like. Another thing I noticed that gives it a much more premium feel is you have wood framed windows. So all of your windows have this wood framing down them and you have a day and a nightshade on all of the windows. So another premium feature there as well. Also very tall slide out boxes. This is a hundred inch wide body construction fifth wheel. So it's very big. And then your ACs here, they are actually not ducted. So there's three ACs on this fifth wheel. And these two in the living room area, they just dump air down into this area. And then you have vents that will open up here. And the best description I've heard to explain the benefit of this is you're getting more direct cold air coming into your fifth wheel instead of air having to go through the attic cavity where it's hot it goes directly down into your fifth wheel rv so the air isn't having time to heat up and things like that so should it cool down the rv very quickly and then again three acs in this rv now this l-shaped sofa is also very cool because it makes into a bed so i'm gonna get this into the bed configuration real quick let me see if i can set the camera up actually let's uh Let's move the camera right here. I'm gonna to try to just keep this rolling while I do this real quick so y'all can kind of see it. Oh goodness, of course there's no good spot to put the camera. So we're gonna put it right there and let's get you angled up a little bit so you can see. Okay, all right. So to make this into a bed, take these back cushions off. Don't mind my fanny pack. That's where all my camera gear goes while I'm in between RVs. So judge me all you want, but the fanny pack is where it's at. It makes my life so much easier. So then you pull these legs down and this is going to drop down like so. And then this will drop down here, just like that. So now you have a bed space here as well, plus a bed space on the other side. And when I kick back to lay back here, it's probably gonna be about these beds are typically somewhere around like 70 inches by about 66 inches in width. Um, the only unfortunate thing, and maybe, I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but there is a bit of a gap right here. So this whole area isn't like fully connected to make one massive bed. But nonetheless, you still have that bed space there. And then to get it back into a sofa, very easy. Just do the opposite of what we just did. And this is for all the people that have just never seen this before. This flips back up. This has a little extra flap right here. And back like so. Pretty easy. Grab your cushions. And there you have it you have it back into the sofa formation. So it doesn't take too long. This is the same function that most of your fifth wheel RVs will have with the sofas turning into a bed. That's how it'll work. So if you haven't seen that before, there you go. You have two recliners right here as well, directly across from the TV. So when you're sitting in these spots, definitely the furthest to the left has the best viewing angle of the TV for sure. And the recliners here, let's see if they lay all the way flat. Yep, lays almost all the way flat there. So pretty nice with that as well. Now, the only thing that I'm not a fan of with this sofa, I love how big it is, but I wish the this, this sofas were just a little bit deeper. You know, the cushions were a little bit deeper. And then you have, again, your um, sofa right here, part of the Kensington collection. And this is just gonna be a pullout sofa that will make into about the size of a full size bed. Huge window right here as we go back into the kitchen, solid surface countertops. You also have an outlet on this side. And then going into the kitchen, you have an island kitchen. This whole area is nice and symmetrical through here. So you can see you have the Insignia four burner stove and oven. Everything looks symmetrical through this space. You have this bar top area. This can be a great decor spot or a great spot to put out serving food and things like that. All solid hardwood on your cabinet doors and drawers. 
and you can see your storage space down through there. Lots of additional storage space you get in the kitchen with this kind of arrangement. And then this I love to see as well. Open up your drawers and they now have solid wood construction on all of the drawers in the Alliance Paradigm. So that's great to see too. Three drawers here. It looks like the third drawer down here is just a little bit bigger than the other two. In this space in the kitchen, you do have a designated spot to separate all your utensils and storage underneath there, as well as storage down under here as well. Nice large size oven, as y'all probably know by now. And then storage through here, you have soft clothes, residential microwave, storage up above the microwave, and storage here. Going into your island, you have LED lighting up underneath the island, outlet on this side of the island as well, and then nice big storage space through here. You also can see your prep rack for the sink, and then storage space down through here, and then slightly bigger third drawer on the bottom. Your sink in the island is off center, so that's gonna give you more countertop space in general, whereas if they were to center this, you would, one, reduce some of the storage space in the cabinets and drawers, but you would also reduce you know, the overall. You'd have the same amount of countertop space, it would just be split in half, so giving you a bigger surface area here. Black faucet, and then nice big open space in here. Now, if you're somebody that insists on having a dishwasher, this one is not prepped to add a dishwasher. However, there are alternative options for dishwashers. One would be there is a sink that you can get that splits this sink 50-50. 50% of the sink is a dishwasher, 50% is a sink. That's one option. Or there are also like countertop dishwasher units that you can get. You have your dining table right here. Again, big windows. They call these atrium windows. Basically, they're trying to make these windows as big as they can in the space to give you more natural light. Down underneath here, you have storage underneath your chairs. And this is a um, floating table, essentially. It's mounted to the sidewall, so no legs here to hit your feet on. Outlet down underneath there. If you wanted to remove this table, it's just screws holding it into the wall, so it's not super hard to take out. And you can see your slide out flooring matches the flooring in the rest of the fifth wheel. So it looks nice and flush. And that is even consistent over on the kitchen side as well. So I love that. Coming back this way, you have this Norcold 12 volt refrigerator. This is really nice. Love that it has latches that keeps it closed already. So you don't have to worry about it flying open on you going down the road. Has an ice maker in it and it stores down underneath there. Now, another advantage to buying Alliance is Alliance is independently owned. So they're not one of the big corporations that's owned by either Thor or Forest River or something like that. They're their own independent company. So there's a big advantage with that buying Alliance. And then here's a look at the pricing as well. So again, we are at Blue Compass RV. Now this is the pricing of this exact model on the date that this is being filmed. If you want up-to-date pricing and location information as Blue Compass has over 100 different locations across the United States and 33 different states, you can click the link down below in the description or comments of this video. Open up this, you have a motion activated light in the pantry and you do have height adjustable shelving as you can see there as well. So you'll be able to adjust the height. There's also an outlet in there, which is a nice little touch. Coffee station area here, you have a real tile backsplash, so that is not fake tile. You have an outlet up here in the cabinets as well, and that made me think I didn't show some of the other outlets because they were up underneath these cabinets here. So you have a couple additional outlets in that area. You have a max air vent fan up above this space too, and your light fixtures above the island. Very deep storage space through here. A lot of other brands, I'll see them take this par portion right here and literally, I mean, it'll stick out like all the way to here. So they really minimize that as best they can. Got a nice little spot here with um, USB and USB type C connections. Pull out drawer. All of your wiring through there and then two more drawers right here. Your controls for this fifth wheel are all going to be manual switches. So you can see all of your slide out controls. If you want to see this fifth wheel with the slides closed, wait till the end of the interior portion. We'll take a look at that. 12 volt heat pads on all of your water tanks. And then you have a gas and electric water heater. As we go up to the bathroom area, you have a grab handle here. 
You have your steps right here with some storage space down underneath there. You can put shoes under there or something along those lines. No carpet. You have a dimmer switch for your lights. So all of your lights in the ceiling are on a dimmer switch there. Love to see that. Independent AC controls. And then as we go into this bathroom, y'all, look at how big that shower is. Plenty of room on both sides of the toilet. And then you have a nice looking vanity set up here. Storage behind the mirror. Have a max air vent fan up in the ceiling, so a higher quality vent fan. Again, solid surface countertops, LED lighting up underneath this. Uh, medicine cabinet looks really clean. Your drawers are solid wood. And then storage down underneath here. This is a wooden toilet seat. So it's not plastic. I mean, very good quality on that. Most RVs come with a plastic toilet seat. And then you have all of this storage here. I mean, that is quite a bit of storage. And stay tuned for just a second. I'm gonna get the height measurements here for you. But you can see this shower, just how big this space is. I mean, you could do like a whole shuffle in this area. And I'm gonna put the camera down real quick and let's measure the heights of some things in here. So I've been bringing a tape measure with me more often. If you appreciate these extra efforts, let me know so I can continue to remember and make this a part of every review here. So ceiling height here in the bathroom is 78 inches or six feet, six inches to, oh, and where the lowest part on the door frame is, let me, uh, Rotate this here for you so you can kind of see. So this door frame right here, that spot right there, to so that spot is going to be, where is it at? It is 75 inches or six foot three. And then in the shower, it is six foot four or 76 inches. And up into the skylight, it is six foot eight or 80 inches. So those are all of your height measurements here throughout the bathroom and bedroom of this fifth wheel RV. So hopefully that helps you out understanding how you'll fit in these spaces. I also like how this has an adjustable height shower head. So if I were to step in here, being six two, it still doesn't go up quite high enough where I wouldn't have to duck underneath this. The camera's at my eye level right now and you can see I'd have to duck under that. But what I do like is all of the floor space in here. I mean, it is huge. And then you have the flip up bench and the skylight is a bigger skylight. So you can get that six foot eight ceiling height for a good portion of the height in here. So overall, I really like that sliding pocket door to close that bathroom. And then going back to the bedroom, you can tell the dimmer switch is on, but I love how it doesn't have a standard traditional door. So that makes this area and opening wider. And where's the, uh, Where's our light switch in here? Here it is. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay. Got the lights on now and you have a king size bed in here, residential size, king size bed, USB and USB type C charging and outlets on both sides of the bed. Another outlet right here as well. Plus you can see some floor space down through there. Nice looking headboard, pull down blackout shades on all your windows. And then you have valances on these windows so it blocks out additional light from coming in through the sides. So that's gonna help keep it darker in here. Across from here, you have a TV already installed that looks to be about a 32 inch screen TV. You have your window here. You have some hidden storage down underneath there. Again, your light switch is here if you didn't see that. And then six pull out drawers. So these two on the top look like they're a little bit smaller maybe than the other ones and then shoe storage down underneath there. You even get a little bench in this paradigm as well. So a spot to sit down, put your socks on, put your shoes on, whatever you need to do. You have that storage underneath here as well. And then going into your closet, I have always loved what Alliance does with their closets where you have some shelving storage built in. You have the closing rod across the top with multiple different support spots and then washer and dryer will go on separate sides. So washer would go on one side, dryer would go on the other, and then this allows you to actually step into this space and have the additional floor space down here as well. So love that, you even have these little pockets up to the left and right, and then underneath the bed, it's strut assisted, and then you have your additional chairs for the dining room area and storage under there, plus even little 
storage back through here on both sides as well. Now, this AC in here is ducted into the bathroom, so you'll have this AC to control both the bedroom and the bathroom. All of these ACs are also going to be very quiet ACs. They're the Coleman Mach ACs, definitely very quiet. And I think that's just about everything. Ceiling height in here will be the same as in the bathroom. So if you have any questions, let me know down below in the comments. Now, let's close up these slides and see what's accessible with the slides closed. Ran out of juice on my truck's battery after getting a couple slides in, but there's a couple things I noticed with where we're at right now. So one, I can tell you're not gonna be able to get to the back because this slide out is gonna close here and it's gonna block your access going back. However, I do wanna point out that this slide out here will actually close without you having to fold up this furniture in any sort of special way. So even though it has the L-shaped sofa, with how they you know, designed this and the size of the sofa, it doesn't hit the wall here, and this slide out also won't hit it coming in. So you don't have to tear down any furniture when you pack up camp, which is great. Finally, if you need to get to the refrigerator, when you walk in, you'll have direct access to the refrigerator right here. This door opens. This door probably will, yeah, will not, but you can still get to the refrigerator and of course, you can get up to your bedroom and bathroom through this hallway. So with the slides closed, pretty much have access to everything except you'd have to climb over some counters and whatnot to get to the living room. Now outside on this fifth wheel, we got quite a lot going on as well. There are five slide outs in total. Again, huge massive storage space down underneath here. You can also control your slide outs and awnings from these switches right here. So I love this. You can imagine it just gets really windy at your campsite starts raining or whatever and you want to get your awnings in quickly you don't want to fumble to find your phone open up an app all these things or have to run inside the rv with your feet wet you can close the awning right there with manual switches that just makes a whole lot of sense and i love that they do that you also have control for the slides there too so you can control your slides and see them from outside so great feature with that six point hydraulic auto leveling up front you have a lot going on with this drop frame it gives you space for this additional storage here battery disconnect switches there and then you have uh, your solar charge controller right there. Yeah, that's gonna be a 40 amp solar charge controller. It is prepped to add a generator. So if you wanna add a generator on this fifth wheel RV, it is prepped to do so. Another thing that is not super common. Spot for batteries right here. And then you have your light switch for your docking lights up front, which the front cap on the Paradigm looks pretty dang good. It's a molded fiberglass one piece front cap with LED lights up across the top up there. You have a cable driven slide out system right here for your bedroom slide. And then you're gonna have a hydraulic rack and pinion style slide out for your bigger slides. Now, one thing that's really nice is, and you know, I say hydraulic, it might be electric because you get individual controls of each slide out. And a lot of times hydraulic systems, you don't get independent controls of each slide out, but those came in and out really easily. Um, and you again, have independent controls of each one. Right here, you can see your wheels is coming with a Sterling tire. The Sterling tire is a 235-85R16, a Morai CRE 3000 suspension system. And then they have this performance running gear, which basically gives you this additional beam right here, which is giving you more support. And then they have these like triangle angle joints right there that give you more support as well. So this is gonna be where you get a lot of experience when you're turning your RVs with a lot of pressure building up there. And this is all additional support to help make sure that nothing snaps or breaks down underneath here when you are turning your RV. So that's another added preventative measure to make sure that you're not bringing your RV in for repairs that are unnecessary because things weren't built to the highest quality that they can up front. Because a lot of times they'll build it that way on an RV that doesn't have it after something snaps or breaks to prevent it from happening again. So just doing that up front. Through here, you now have electric tank switches on your Paradigm as well. So this is your gray tank, gray tank, black tank. You have electric switches to open those up. And again, slide switches here to control all your slide outs, motion activated light and Nautilus water management system. Very clean and concise right here with a hole to run your water line through so you can keep this door closed. If you have aluminum framing on here, all of your frame pieces are welded on both sides of the frame. And then as I step back, you can see this right here, the height on this is probably about six foot, maybe 5'11". So you have to duck under that a little bit. But other than that, I mean, you can stand straight up to get into your water compartment and a good portion of your storage. You have an out, or uh, sorry, a 50 amp power connection right there. 
black and gray tank dump valves, everything comes to this one spot on the fifth wheel RV, so you don't have to go anywhere else other than that one spot to dump your tanks. You have a spot underneath here to store your sewer hose, and you have your spare tire down underneath there. Of, co uh, of course, it is a fully enclosed underbelly. All your water tanks and water lines sit above the enclosed underbelly, and you do have 12 volt heat pads on your water tanks as well. This thing is warranted for full-time RVing, so you definitely can live in a paradigm if you so choose to. You have your spot for a backup camera up top if you wanna get that installed. It does have a 3,000 pound rated accessory hitch on the bottom here, so you can tow off the back if you would like, or you can just put an accessory hitch as well. You have reverse lights built into your brake lights. That's something that not all RVs have, surprisingly. So you have another safety feature there with the reverse lights. And then you have a really solid ladder here. I love how solid and firm this ladder feels. You don't have to purchase any additional ladder accessory with the Alliance Paradigm. And then I noticed something when I came up onto the roof that I wanna show y'all, where they have this little grab handle here that I think is really just helping minimize the, you know, kind of bulky, like this is what a traditional fifth wheel RV ladder looks like. And you see how it kind of goes over the top there? It just doesn't, it doesn't look as clean as this does. So this gives you plenty of safety as well. The top rung of this ladder goes up almost level with this. So you don't have a big step down and then you have a grab handle right there. Plus you have a 300 watt solar panel up here on the roof and then three ACs, they're all white and they're the Coleman Mach ACs. Fully walkable roof and fully walkable slide out boxes as well. Let's get down and finish this thing up. Coming back to your campsite. Of course, you'll have LED lights up underneath the awnings as well. And here's more information on that performance running gear here for what you have there. So you have the wet bolts as well. And it's just a really good overall system. Outlet here. And that's all I got for y'all. Oh, the propane quick connect line down underneath there as well. So let me know what you think down below in the comments. And again, if you are interested in this fifth wheel RV, you can click the link down below in the description or comments of this video to get the most up-to-date pricing information and see different locations that this RV is available at. And let me know what you think. So until next time, live firmly on bound.